Now the goal, just like last video, is we have three different stocks and monthly returns, and we want to create a single formula that iterates across the columns, dealing with the data in each column, and then spilling the three different aggregate calculations. Now, last video, we defined the array and the function by call as two different variables, and that was advantageous because we needed to manipulate the array. GeoMean needed to add one. But in this video, we're just going to define the function because we don't need to manipulate the array up here. We can just use eta lambdas, and that'll make the formula easier. We do have to use lambda. And in the second argument, we're going to use by call to iterate across the columns. But I need to define x as the function value, the eta lambda, comma. And then we use by call. We're actually going to highlight right inside by call the actual array, comma, and then in function we put x. That means because we defined it as a variable f, and then lambda defined x, every time we use f, all we're going to have to do is put the function name in. Close, close on lambda, and we want to vertically stack, so v stack f, and then a v, there's average, get rid of that open parentheses. Let's just check this out. Close on the F, close on the V stack, close on the let, and Control Enter. It is working like a charm. Again, we don't have to manipulate this, so we don't have to define it as a variable. The second array, comma, F, open parentheses, variation of the sample comma, F open parentheses, and we want standard deviation of the sample. Close, 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 Control Enter. So this version is going to be easier if you just don't need to do anything to this array. Just define the function itself, and bam, F, F, F with whatever eta lambdas we want, Control Enter, and we're spilling working across columns and spilling aggregate totals vertically.